16 years have passed since the massacre of more than 50 West African migrants took place on Gambian soil. From the evidence before the ongoing truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission, the TRRC, there is no doubt that the massacre was committed by former President James Hitman, the junglers. With the list of slain migrants now available at the TRRC, the families of the victims, human rights defenders and civil society organizations in the Gambia and abroad have better lead to ensure that the killed migrants are served with justice accordingly. This drive has been the business of the Gambia Victim Center as well as Human Rights Watch, Trial International and Jamaica Justice Campaign, Ghana Chapter. William Nyako is the Executive Director of African Center for International Law and Accountability and also the Campaign Coordinator of Jamaica Justice, Ghana Chapter. As you know, under the TRC Act, uh, the TRC can recommend amnesty, uh, but the TRC is also prohibited from recommending amnesty for persons who had engaged in egregious violations of human rights. Anagami, whose brother Paul was killed with the West African migrants, said it has been a long and a traumatic 16 years of wait for his family. It's been a very traumatic uh, and long uh, um, 16 years. Uh, but the good thing is, you see, um, the wheels of justice uh, turn slowly, but it grinds exceedingly fine. Um, justice will take time, but it will be served. Hearings at the Truth Seeking Commission drew an international attention when several junglers confessed to have participated in the mass murder of the migrants. This was quite encouraging for the victim's family and human rights defenders pursuing to punish Yaya Jame for the killings. In the Gambia, the Center for Victims of Human Rights Violation has endeavored to engage the government into implementing the recommendations that will come out of the TRRC. Sirif Kijara is the chairman of the Gambia Victims Center. We, uh, with our stakeholders, we will, I mean, the intensify the level of advocacy to make sure that we put more pressure on the government of the day um, to have the political will to implement such recommendations. You have had the chairman of the National Human Rights Commission. I mean, they will, I mean, the, join the fight. You know, they will be in the driving seat to put more pressure on the government to have the political will to implement um, recommendation of the TRRC. Matinere, the yet known survivor of the 2005 massacres, was present at the press briefing organized by the justice campaigners as well as Adama Chunkara, the widow of Lamin Chunkara. Her husband, a Gambian, was killed along with the migrants. The TRRC will conclude its work in the second quarter of this year and submit recommendations to President Adama Baru, who will decide what to implement or not. William Nyako is the executive director of African Center for International Law and Accountability and also the campaign coordinator of Jamaica Justice, Ghana Chapter. In 2009, um, following the ECOWAS and UN joint fact-finding uh, mission investigation, um, the memorandum that was signed to uh, bring closure to the matter which had been raging um, enormously between the Gambia and uh, Ghana, uh, there was a provision in the Memorandum of Understanding which said that uh, uh, even though they were closing the matter, however, if new evidence came forward which uh, pointed to the actual perpetrators of the crime, both Gambia and Ghana will reopen an investigation. 